Just seen some windy days recently and those high winds blowing sand from the beach on the Highway 90 causing potentially hazardous driving conditions. But about two years ago, Biloxi Mayor Fofo Gillich instituted a plan to keep the sand on the beach and off the road. Parker Boyd has an update tonight live. Hugh, that plan called for putting heavier sand on the beach here from Oak Street to Coon Street, the city getting a federal grant to make that happen over a year ago. Luxie Mayor Fofo Gillage received about a $1 million Go Mesa grant to launch this experiment, and he says it's keeping sand off Highway 90. It works. This mile-long knee wall that stretches from Oak Street to the Biloxi Small Craft Harbor was built in 2023 to keep the sand off the highway. Gillich says it served its purpose. Everywhere that you don't have that barrier and the sand is very close to the beach, it blows up on these, on these uh, wind events that we have pretty regularly. But the coast has over 26 miles of beach, which stretch over four cities along the coast in Harrison County. So there are still many miles of Highway 90 that still have sand blowing on it. Michael Mitchell is from Hattiesburg, and he comes to the coast three times a week. He says driving on Highway 90 hasn't been easy lately because of all the sand on the highway. At times, it could be a real hazard. Mitchell remembers getting into a car accident near the Biloxi Lighthouse several years ago. The sand was so bad that my car just slid through it. I tried to stop and started sliding through it. And uh, luckily, no one was hurt. A year ago, Biloxi experimented and put down the heavier sand along about a mile of Highway 90. It takes uh, uh, much uh, more wind to blow the heavier sand. Gillich has plans to expand the project. We're hopeful that we'll extend, uh, you know, do a similar thing from between uh, the lighthouse and uh, White Avenue and all, all the way down to Rodenburg. So you have not only a, a walkway, but a barrier for the, uh, uh, you know, the, the sand uh, uh, to, to get over and hopefully reduce the amount of maintenance that has to be done on the highway as a result of these wind events. Michael Mitchell says he hopes the city follows suit by bringing that very promise to pass to keep drivers on Highway 90 safe. And Mayor Gillage also says he plans to have barriers built from Edgewater Mall to the Ocean Springs Bridge. In Bluxy, Parker Boyd, WLOX News Now.